Hi, my name is Richard Lanehart, and I'm here to introduce you to Adobe Sound Booth CS4, part of Adobe's new CS4 suite, and included with the CS4 Production Premium suite specifically. Sound Booth is intended to be a audio editing program specifically designed for working with video files, although it can work with any type of audio files, and anyone who works with audio can find it useful. It has some unique features for working with audio, for cleaning audio, for processing audio that everyone can find useful. And let's take a look at it. First of all, we're going to just open up a sound file and we'll go to the open dialog and we'll just choose this MP3 here at the top of the list. Notice you saw it go by quickly there, but you saw that there was a little dialog that popped up that said something about conforming audio. And we'll get to that in just a minute, what that means. So we have a file here open that is uh, showing us a sort of a standard waveform view. And if you don't know what that means, we're going to take a little bit of time here and explain some of the background of digital audio. So what we're seeing here is the stereo representation of the two channels of a stereo file. This is the left side. This is the right side here. And this waveform view, this is called a waveform, specifically is showing us the changes in amplitude or volume over time of this sound file. And amplitude is the amount of level in a file at any one particular point. The amplitude, volume, gain, those are all different terms for the same thing. And this dimension here is time, so the vertical dimension in the waveform view is amplitude or volume, and the horizontal dimension is time. So this is the changes in amplitude over time. And what we're going to do now is just go down to our play button here and play a little bit of this file. Okay, just a standard little jazz thing. You'll notice that we have transport controls down here that I'm clicking on. There's our play button, there's our stop button. And in standard Adobe fashion, you'll notice that when you hover your mouse over any type of control or any other sort of object, you'll get a little pop-up here that shows you what it is. You can also start and stop playback with the space bar. So I'll just hit the space bar now. And hitting it again stops it. So this is our basic waveform view here. So what we're going to do in the next chapter is set up some basic preferences if you haven't done so yet.